Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we will take a look at this uh, USB boost cable that I bought from Amazon. Uh, it's usually sold for about 600 to 650 rupees and sometimes I have seen uh, the price go as below as uh, as low as 500 rupees but recently or at the moment the price is about 650 rupees. I paid 600 rupees for this unit. It comes in two unit, uh, two version 9 volt and 12 volt version. I've got uh, the one that I have is the 12 volt version. So what you can do with this cable is basically you can use this cable to power your uh, modem, routers, set-top boxes or any other 12 volt uh, gadget uh, with your power bank. So usually your power bank is able to give 5 volt. If you look at uh, the back of the power bank you can see that the output of this power bank is 5 volt and at 5 volt it is able to give about 2.4 amperes. So this is the output of the power bank. Uh, and you can use any power bank which has at least 2 amperes output uh, with this cable and with uh, with your power bank you will be able to run your uh, router, modem, set-top box or any other 12 volt gadget that takes about 1 amperes. So let me just take the cable out and see how it looks. So this is the cable as you can see this is the boost module you can see the input uh, it takes 5 volt and the output it gives 9 volt uh, or 12 volt at 1 amperes and it comes in two model 9 volt and 12 volt model I will place another order for 9 volt model because I've purchased another modem uh, which is from TP-Link and TP-Link usually uses a 9 volt in their modem or routers so this on one end you have this uh, USB-A cable which plugs into your power bank and on the other end you have this uh, uh, normal DC jack that you can plug inside your uh, uh, game boxes, your set-top box or modem. I've tested this with different set-top boxes from Airtel, D2H and uh, UCN network, city cable uh, set-top boxes and it was able to work without any problem. I've also tested this with a 7 inch car television and it was able to work it without any problem. While using it, uh, it doesn't get warm, it does get a little warm but doesn't heat up that much and uh, I have had no problem uh, for the past 6 or 7 days that I've been using this cable. So let me just uh, show you uh, uh, the test of this cable with different modems and we will check the voltage that we're getting with this unit. Okay, now let's test the, let's, uh, test the output of the uh, boost module with the multimeter. So I've got my multimeter here. Let me turn on the light. So I've set the multimeter to 20 volt, it should tell us how much, how many volt we are getting from the meter, sorry from the uh, unit. I've connected my power bank here and if you again, if you look at the back, it supports 5 volt 2.4 amp. So make sure the power bank that you are using is capable of at least giving out uh, 2 amperes at 5 volts. So I've plugged in the cable, let me insert the probes. So the positive or the red one goes in the center, in the middle and the negative goes outside uh, the connector so as you can see it is getting 1.42 volt and let me turn on the uh, power bank by touching the button and as soon as I turned on the power bank as you can see the power bank has turned on and on the screen of the multimeter we can see that we are getting about uh, let me show you we are getting about 12.35 volt without any problem uh, so fairly uh, capable uh, unit and while we are using it, uh, I'm using it for a couple of days now. It gets a little warm but it is uh, working and it doesn't get too warm so I think it should last me uh, much longer. So you are easily able to power any 12 volt device which takes about 12 volt or 1 amp or uh, not more than 1 amp. You might still be able to run any load that takes more than 1 amp at 12 volt but you may find uh, some issues because uh, sometimes uh, the modems or routers that takes more than 1 amp uh, you will find them uh, uh, turning off or shutting down because they are not getting enough power. Okay so let's test the unit uh, with the power bank and if you look at the power bank this is the Ambrane 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. and. What you're looking for is basically 5 volt at least 2 amperes. The one that I'm using is capable of 2.4 amperes. So if you have 5 volt 2 amperes, uh, this unit will uh, work without any problem. So let me just uh, plug it in the power bank. So I plugged it in. As you can see the lights are glowing. That means the power bank is turned on. 
Now let me grab my modem plus router. So this is my BSNL uh, modem plus router. It uh, supports modem as well as a router. And if you look at the back of the modem, let me show you. Uh, you can probably see that the power it takes to run is about 12 volt and 0.75 amperes. So let me just plug it in. So here is the uh, running port. powering on the so you can see it is turned on and it is running off of the power bank as you can see the power light is glowing let's wait for a second until it start displaying DSL so as you can see we are getting DSL and let me plug in extra load in the modem and let's see whether it can handle uh, that or not so i've got my usb c po uh, sorry a usb port at the back so i'm going to what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to plug a usb fan because uh, i like to run a usb fan with the modem uh, sometimes in a summer time so let me just do that so i've got my uh, two usb fan if, let me just plug it in and let's see whether the uh, unit shuts off when i plug in the load in so I plug the load in and as you can see both the fans are spinning and the power bank is still able to hold uh, the modem running and it is not turning off. So you can definitely use it uh, without any problem. So this takes about a little less than 1 ampere at uh, 12 volt. Let me plug in another modem which takes uh, complete 1 ampere at uh, 12 volt. So this is another uh, BSNL modem, uh, this is an older model and if you look at the back of this modem, uh, you can see that on top it says uh, 12 volt 1 amperes. So let's see whether uh, this uh, cable is able to run this modem or not. Same let's plug it in. So. It is running fine without any problem all the lights are glowing let's wait for a second until it starts looking for uh, dsl line and we're hoping that it doesn't reboot because when the power is low um, oftentimes the modem or router reboots when you are supplying less power so it is not rebooting that means it is getting enough power uh, for it to run and now while it is uh, powered on and it should be searching for DSL in a moment. Let me just plug in uh, while we're at it uh, my USB fan. So again, this also have a USB uh, uh, USB port. So let me just uh, plug it in. So I plugged in the USB uh, fan in. As you can see, it is the fan is running, the modem is running, and the DSL is also running. I have not connected a uh, internet cable to this because uh, my internet is not working for about uh, four or five months. But here is the proof that the cable is able to run 12 volt 1 amp uh, modem. So one other use of this uh, boost module USB cable is that you can also run your uh, portable 12 volt uh, television with this if they take less than 1 ampere. I've tested, tested this unit with a small 7 inch car uh, TV and it was able to run it without any problem. You can also run this, uh, use this uh, module to run your setup boxes which takes about 12 volt 1 amp, uh, not more than 1 ampere because the unit will start heating up and uh, the modem or your router or your setup box will uh, uh, turn off after uh, some time. So 12 volt 1 ampere it was able to run without any problem and you can get this in two models uh, 9 volt and 12 volt model so i'm going to purchase another one for the 9 volt model because i've purchased a new modem from the tp link and usually tp link modem and routers uh, takes 9 volt so there we go this was my video on this uh, usb boost cable it converts 5 volt to 12 volt that way you can use your any power bank which is capable of giving at least 5 uh, a volt and 2 amperes and you, you can use your power bank to run your router, modems, setup boxes, 
or any other 12 volt device that takes about 1 amp. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.